My girlfriend started a fire while using the toaster oven. Running to save the day, I grabbed the fire extinguisher and put the fire out. Then I found myself wondering, who invented the fire extinguisher? Hello YouTube, my name is Invention Man, and today we will explore the history of fire extinguishers. In the industrial age, when cities grew larger and more densely packed, the risks posed by larger fires threatened more lives and property than had ever been possible before. We take a lot of firefighting technology for granted, but there was a time without fire retardant materials and smoke alarms when new inventions were developed out of necessity. Some were carefully planned and others were just dumb luck. The earliest fire extinguishers were bucket chains leading from a well or water source to the site of a blaze. The first recorded water pump was conceived of around 200 BC by Custavus of Alexandria, the father of pneumatics. In the 15th century, Leonardo da Vinci was commissioned by the Duke of Milan to create a super oven for his kitchen so that he could cater for an upcoming house party. Da Vinci outfitted the entire kitchen with a system of conveyor belts that fed dishes into a superheated oven. It doesn't take the brightest mind of the Renaissance to see how this could go wrong, so da Vinci installed a sprinkler system in case of a fire. On the night of the party, the Duke of Milan had invited dozens of guests to see the mad artist at work. When the food took longer than expected, da Vinci sped up the conveyor belt to cook the dishes faster. The kitchen staff were unable to keep up with the flow, and a small fire broke out in the kitchen, triggering da Vinci's experimental fire extinguishers, washing out all of the food in the process. The party was a bust, but da Vinci had just proven the worth of the world's first recorded sprinkler system. If you are enjoying this video, hit that like button, subscribe, and leave a comment what you'd like for us to talk about next. Centuries after da Vinci's own experiment, English chemist Ambrose Godfrey refined the sprinkler system by patenting a system of wall-mounted fire extinguishers. In the event of a fire, fuses attached to the device would ignite and detonate a small chamber of gunpowder. The resulting explosion would spread water onto the fire. British inventor George William Manby invented the first portable pressurized fire extinguisher sometime between 1810 and 1818. His extinctor could deploy up to three gallons of potassium carbonate onto a fire. Soda acid fire extinguishers first developed in France in 1866, then found their way to the United States in 1881 by the way of Alman Granger. In case of a fire, users would break open a bottle of acid attached to the device and mix it into a larger container of sodium bicarbonate. Just like in a paper mache volcano, the resulting chemical reaction would pressurize a stream of water that was directed through a hose. Shortly after soda acid fire extinguishers were developed, Russian engineer Alexander Lorin found himself teaching chemistry in the oil producing city of Baku. When witnessing a plague of oil fires wreaking havoc on the town, Lauren was determined to find a solution to their problems. The chemist eventually drew inspiration from an unlikely source, the foamy head of a glass beer. Lauren invented firefighting foam in 1904 and patented the foam firefighter extinguisher that same year. In honor of his beer-fueled epiphany, he sold fire extinguishers under the brand name Eureka. The new foam-based fire extinguishers were able to fight oil-based flames and also held a higher capacity of fire retardant solution than the water-based extinguishers that were available at the time. 
On the other side of the world, American homes and public buildings were outfitted with glass fire grenades. They were hung from the walls and filled with water or carbon tetrachloride, a colorless liquid that chemically inhibits the combustion process. The globes could be thrown into the fire where they would shatter on contact, while more advanced systems could spring launch globes into a fire when a loose solder was melted by flames. If you made it this far in the video, thank you for watching, hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you next time.